Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's a beautiful day here in Tampa Bay, Florida. Let's see, it's about noon, and you guys know I don't ever go out this late, but I had a late start to the day. I planned on going out late just because I wanted to start fishing um, in this area again, and I didn't want to go out super early in the morning, and I wanted there to be light. I just wanted to check the conditions at low tide, and right now at noon, we are at the very, very middle of the low tide, and so, High tide, the tide won't start rolling back in until probably about two o'clock. So anyways, that's my reason on why you know I'm starting late today. So I am on the Sea Eagle today, check it out. I'm on the inflatable. You guys know that I've had this thing for quite a few years, probably about six years. And I've got the Bixby attached back there and we are steering it with this handle. Here, I'll show you in a minute. Ooh, I'm steering it with this handle right here. What you do is you pull it towards you to go right and you push it back to go left. And so it's an awesome little mechanism that they've invented, put together uh, to make life easy. So you don't have to have like a tiller handle, like uh, uh, uh. that can get kind of annoying. I've had one of those before and this is much nicer. So anyways, guys, we are gonna be exploring today. Right now, I'm in a canal. There are houses um, all around me, left and right. I fish this a lot in the winter and I fish for snook, but we're gonna blow past this canal, get out into the bay, get to where I wanna get and do some fishing. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let's get to it. <laughs> there we go. It's <laughs> a nice jack right there. Man, this is a light rod for a jack this size. <laughs> Maybe we just gotta wear them out a little bit. It's a good jack, buddy. There we go. It's a pretty fish. It's just a nice jack. I don't have any net today, so we just have to do it like this today, boys. There we go. It's 
It's good, Jack. This is what we're working with today. Sight pitched them on the Yak Tribe paddle tail right here. That's the moonshine. There we go. Oh, that's a hefty beast. Coming in at 27 inches. There we go. All righty. Woof. So here's how today went. Got on the water, a slow start to the day, as I said in the beginning, but made it to the spot I wanted to get to and caught that really nice jack. And there was a bunch back there just like that. So today was an adventure, man, crawling through mangroves. I saw a bunch of reds, but they just did not want to eat what I was giving to them. So I might try something different next time I go out to this particular area. But just want to let you guys know, man, the jacks are out. I saw a bunch of them. The trout are out. Um, I've been getting reports all over around Tampa Bay and I've caught some myself. The redfish, they are out. The other week I caught a 30 inch redfish and um, got some friends catching some big redfish as well. And so they're out in Tampa Bay, man. They are hungry. They are eating. And so right now, you know, that water is, of course, I'm giving you advice, even though I didn't catch one today, but I'll tell you this right now, the water is getting cooler. So when it is like that, th when they're in the shallows and they're kind of just hanging out, doing nothing, they're not really aggressive. Okay. But if they're moving, if they're doing something, then they, they pretty much are looking for food and they're eating. So keep that in mind. That's also not always the case because I posted a video just the other day of sight casting a redfish and it was just sitting perfectly still, just like that. And I threw a soft plastic and it turned around, did a 360 and swiped it up. So, you know, it's always gonna, it's always gonna sound contradictory, but I can tell you for me, it seems like for the most part, if they're on the move, then they're definitely hungry. They're looking for something. But if they're just sitting there, I would say two times out of 10, they'll eat. But there's like the eight times that they will not eat. They're just chilling and, and they'll get spooked off. So keep that in mind when you guys are fishing. The water's getting cool here in Tampa Bay, Florida. So when it's sunny, you know, and they're on the flats, then it's gonna be good. But if it's not, if it's just overcast, like it's been in Tampa Bay, then they're not just gonna be active in really, really shallow water. So you're gonna wanna find those ledges like you've seen, I've been posting a lot of trout fishing videos lately. You're gonna wanna find those ledges where the fish can come up, especially the trout, where they can come up from that deeper water, get the food they want to, and then go back. And as the tide comes in and the sun comes out and the water is warmer, they're gonna come back onto those flats. So these are just all things to keep in mind. Today was an explore day and um, I'm happy I did it, man. I saw a bunch of cool things. I'm not gonna tell you everything I saw today because I wanna be able to get some video and some footage and, and um, you know, get that going going, but I saw some really cool stuff today. So I'm going to be going back to this particular area this time of the year, hopefully in the next week, uh, the next few weeks and try and get on some good fish. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, man, I'm always here to help answer any questions that I can. Appreciate you guys watching the video, rigging up the sea eagle. It performed well today, just like it has for the last few years, man. I will catch you guys on the next one.